Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is retest or expiry date of the drug substance. Let us try to understand the definitions provided in Chapter 20 of ICHQ7, the GMP Guide for API Manufacturing. The guideline says an expiry date or expiration date is the date placed on the container labels of an API designating the time during which the API is expected to remain within established shelf life specifications if stored under defined conditions and after which it should not be used. See, it is the date after, after which it should not be used. That means it, it will fail by the time, by the expiry date. So this date will be a part of the label and the part of the container. So this particular point has to understood that within the expiry period, the API should meet the specifications, the shelf life specifications. Let us see what is the meaning of retest date. The date when a material should be re-examined to ensure that it is still suitable for use. That means you have to confirm that the material after the retest period is tested once again. That's called the retest. So it is tested once again to confirm that it is still usable for use in further processing. So these two particular points have to be noted. Let us see what are the requirements as prescribed in the guide. An API expiry or retest date should be based on an evaluation of data derived from stability studies. Common practice is to use a retest date and not an expiration date. So the API expiry or retest dates are assigned based on the evaluation of the stability data as per Q1E. Another very important point to note here is for any drug substance, it is a common practice or it is a better practice to assign a retest date and not an expiration date. So the advantage of retest date is after which the, the drug substance can be retested and if it if it passes to all specifications then the material can be used further that particular advantage is there when you have a practice to give a retest and not an expiration date for the drug substance let us see how the uh, the api expiry date or retest date is provided preliminary api expiry or retest dates can be based on a pilot scale batches if the pilot batches employ a method of manufacture and procedure that stimulates the final process to be used on a commercial manufacturing scale and the quality of the API represents the material to be made on a commercial scale. This is important. So the expiry date or retest date is assigned based on the data from a pilot scale provided the quality of the pilot batches should be equivalent to, to the quality of the commercial scale. This is referred, this is a prescription under section 11.62. Let's try to understand the meaning of each word in this. What is an expiry date? So we discussed that the expiry date is the date after which the product cannot be used for further processing. What does it mean? Expiry is what? By meaning, it is dead. It is unsuitable. So the expiry date means the product does not meet the specifications after the date. So it may fail in one attribute or many. Very important point to note here is even a single attribute failure will be considered for expiry date. So among several tests in the 
in the list of specifications even one one test fails in that it is considered as the product is expired this particular point should be noted and the material cannot be used if it fails in that let us quickly understand what is a retest so it is the date after which the material could be retested to check conformance to approved specifications so the advantage is that if the drug substance is retested after the period of after the retest period and if it passes to the specifications that means what the material is okay so it can be extended to the next time schedule that means the retest period of the material can be extended to the next valid schedule so here one point is how many times you can do a retesting once or twice let us see the retesting can be done several times as long as the material conforms to specifications after each rest after each retest time station it is like uh, if the material is okay that means the retest period can be extended it is something like uh, giving a death certificate for a person who is living so what is a living product the product that passes to specifications is considered as a living product so how can you uh, give a expiry period for a product which is okay so in that case you have to give only a retest period and it is a good practice also to uh, assign a retest period please understand this particular point and try to adapt this i hope you understood the expiration date and the retest date and its intent Thanks for watching my channel for more videos please do subscribe like and share thank you